Okay guys, we're at our new location and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of show you how I go about finding these places so you guys can look for yourself. But this place here is I actually have a small book at home that has like old homesteads on it. I mean it'll kind of tell you like the year it was built, a little bit of history and that's about it. So basically what I got to do is I got to find it. And um, so basically this place we're at I kind of knew there was something here like a long time ago. I just didn't know for sure until I seen in that book. So I was at home this week and I was looking through that book and there's a couple places I have already been to and this place is a little bit closer to the house. So I started researching it. I actually drove over here Thursday and there was a guy out here and he was tearing down a barn. So the barn was literally buried in the woods. They actually didn't know it was there until they were you know basically clearing out everything so they've actually came in here and they've cleared all the trees out and um i think they take like six to, to six to twelve inches of dirt off the top but i'll kind of show you what i'm talking about but the location we're at this used to be an old homestead in 1824 is when it was built and it's like a it's kind of there's a lot of historical to it because of the person that owned it originally then he must have just passed it down through the family and then obviously they must have sold it you know <laughs> so and as far as i know the metro park owns it but i don't have any idea why they're clearing it out i don't know you know just because a lot of times the city will buy up property they might they might sell it too and they might be putting homes or something i'm not for sure i think it's just part of the metro park i don't have any idea why they're clearing it out so i'll kind of show you around so they've came in here and they've cleaned all the trees out and they all they do is they come in here and they grind them all up into like sawdust and there was actually the last time i was over here about a month ago there was like a big mountain of that sawdust over here and they cleared it out the the, the pile that's over here now that used to be like a cornfield and um that's the dirt that was sitting in here so i i'd say about six to 12 inches i'm not sure the guy that was over here i just didn't ask him because i wasn't even when i was over here thursday i wasn't positive this was the right place so what i ended up doing is i i kept researching i just couldn't find it then i went on google earth and of course google earth has changed since the last time i used it so i used google earth pro and this is kind of how i found it okay guys i'm gonna try to show you guys how i found this so basically i have an idea where i thought it was at and like i said they went in there and cleaned all the trees out so i went on google earth and as you can see this is the area right here so this is what it looked like before they cleaned all the trees out then if you go up here at the top you can actually go back in time so watch So I'm going back now. Now you can kind of see there's a driveway there. It took me a while because Google Earth is new. This is the new Google Earth. See how it's getting better? And you can actually go back to 1985. Click that. And you can tell, I mean, the quality gets worse because of the satellites. You know, they're older. They've you know, change a lot. There you go. See it? So there's the house. And I knew, I mean, it took me a while because I haven't been on Google Earth and they've changed it. But see how worse it gets? But it, like I said, you can go all the way back to 1985 now. So there's the house we're looking for. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'll probably like make a copy of this. I'll run a copy of this off. And when I get there, because... When I was there the other day when I was making that little short with the the barn where those animals were in there, the guy kind of told me because he was moving the land. He said he was pretty sure where I was parked at is where the driveway was. So, I mean, there's the house. But I went there a few years ago, like a long time ago, like 10 years ago. The driveway, you could tell the driveway was there, but you... It was so overgrown you couldn't get in there metal tech. I kind of walked around in the woods a little bit, but I couldn't find anything. It was just too hard to metal detect. So that house right there was built in 1824. So as you can see, like with that map, those trees over there are in that map. 
so that google earth that you just saw these trees so basically where i'm parked at is where that oval driveway is so basically where we're walking right now is more or less where that house set and it was a big house i mean it was like seven bedroom house so i mean you can't really tell by that photo satellite photo but it was a huge place and originally it was on um 300 acres of farmland so basically i've honestly never been in a place like this that's been grounded up like this but if it's the way i think it is you know they did us a favor because they've dug down so all the good stuff will be about a foot underneath the ground but there's like a a concrete slab over here and years ago when i was staying i was in here it's because you know i have to remember stuff so when i was thinking about it there's a house down the street that's 1840s and the lady that owned it she had been robbed so she wouldn't give me permission she didn't want anybody on her property but then she was i talked to her for a while and she said there that she sent me down here basically i didn't know where it was she just said down the road and i'm pretty sure this is the place she was talking about but there's like a concrete thing here i don't know why they didn't take this out but this is not the house set over here i don't even know what this is i don't know if there was and it wasn't that that barn that that guy was tearing down in that little short i put up it was in this field somewhere they just didn't know it was there because all the trees and when i came down here then I came in here and tried to metal detect it and you couldn't metal detect it because it was so overgrown. The house wasn't here, but it was just so overgrown you couldn't even get in here. Even in the front where the driveway was, I mean, the grass was like three foot high. It was just full of weeds and shit. I mean, you just couldn't metal detect it. So what we're gonna do today is I'll probably, because I'm having problems with my knees, so I'm gonna try to do the best to get it around. And I'm gonna start like towards the back of there and I'm just on a zigzag through here, then come over to where I know the house was. So we're gonna kind of work on this back side here. Cause I don't know how long I got. Cause that guy that was over here, he said that the land crew comes in later and they're the ones that'll go in and flatten all this out and they'll take that dirt over there and they'll fill in the low spots. And, and this will just be one, you know, it'd be full of fill dirt then. And across the street, they literally got dirt already over there and they're doing something over there. But that is the Metro Park. I just don't have any idea what they're doing with it. I mean, they got dirt. They're, they're doing construction. I thought that was weird. That's why usually when I come places, I like coming on the weekend so I'm not bothered, you know, or bothering other people. Here's the, here's the excavator that that dude was moving, tearing that barn down with like i said if you haven't seen that short go check that short out but actually he was tearing that down that when he got all he stopped to talk to me that i looked up in there and i seen those buzzards in there but this is what he was moving things around with so i'll get back to you guys as soon as i get under a real good signal okay guys i got a good signal here I mean, it's not very deep, but I don't think that's going to mean anything. You know what I mean? Because they've dug it up, but I don't know if it's anything good. I got a lot of signals so far, but I haven't got any real good. This is about the best signal I've got so far. damn can uh, there's Mountain Dew can so I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on something else okay guys I got a signal This is a can. 
<laughs> Looks like a bullet. <laughs> That was it guys. I'll get back to you as soon as I get on to another one. Okay guys, I'm on to one. I know it's hotter than hell out here. Both my remote, I think it quit working because it's so hot. But so far, I, I dug some play money and a couple bullets it's gotta be in this plug Should check the hole first. Cause... <laughs> Don't have a clue. this round piece i found stuff like this before i don't know what it is well i'll get back to you guys as soon as i get on something else okay guys well i'm up basically by the road so i get a signal and i just every time i get a good signal it's been basically um it's been aluminum a can like upside down and i finally got an indian here it's so hot out here <laughs> I think it's a 1881 is what it is. So we got a 1881 Indian. Finally. I'll check down in here. But it's like hot, man. It's like it's got to be in the 90s. It's unbelievable hot. That's it. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on to another one. Okay guys, we're on call today. I came over this way. I wanted to show you this after I show you what we found. But So basically what we found today, we found this play money, aluminum play money. I'm pretty sure this is like from the 40s. It says 25 cents. Then we found this Indian. And I think the Indian's either 1881 or 84. But I'll take a better picture of it and you'll see it in the video. I get home i don't know what this is i don't know if this was something off that thing they were over there digging in the ground or what but the reason i came over here is i wanted to show you guys this school so this is the fair avenue public school and this was built in 1890. looks like a castle <laughs> but I, I they have some kind of school that goes on in here but a long time ago i came here and I'm sure it was metal detected, but they, they pulled like a little part of the sidewalk out and I come down through with a metal detector and I found an Indian head under the sidewalk. It might have just been this little piece over here that's newer. But it's one of the coolest schools here in Columbus, Ohio. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't know how much footage I got, but man, it was hot. I had all kinds of camera problems, but it was extremely hot. I don't, it's cooler over here. 
but out in that field man it had to be like 190 or something so i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys on the next one thanks a lot bye